I still get the feeling that Sean McVay is going to take quarterback. Go on. Like I could see Michael Penix. I don't know. It just feels like or Bo Nix. I I I don't know why. I but the thought doesn't go away that Sean's going to look at you know Matt's Matt's successor. I, they took. Obviously, Stetson Bennett in the fourth round last year, that hasn't worked out. And we wish Stetson well, whatever he's going through. I'm not sure all the details on it, but obviously he had some stuff last year. And then they've, you know, rotated around who is going to be the backup. They brought in Wentz. They had they had that going for a while. Um, that 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 spot, 19, where they're at, Bo Nix might be on the board. Michael Penix might be on the board. Spencer Rattler might be on the board. I'll just say this again. I'll say it to you. Sean McVay is not taking an inside linebacker <laughs> at 19. Like he's an offensive wizard and he's never had the opportunity to draft a guy in the first round. If there is a stud wide out that slips, if there's a wide out that he likes, like if he likes Ladd McConkey, and I don't know if he does, but if he likes, you know, Ricky Pearsall, if, if he sees <laughs> Keon Coleman, like I, I think Sean's going to say to them, the guys, I've never made a first round pick. I'm taking my guy. And if that's a quarterback, it'll be a quarterback. I, I think offense for the Rams and, you got me thinking there with the with the eventual successor to Matthew Stafford. I don't know, man. I love Penix. I, I but then I could see Sean saying with Bo Nix, you know, man, I can bring him in, and I got a guy similar to Stafford. Accurate as hell. Yeah, League. I don't know. I just I get that Penix. Feeling. Penix is interesting. So I didn't have Penix in my first round, and I've gotten a lot of blowback. And by the time I do it next week, based on the response, I will have Penix in the first round. He's a first round quarterback. I thought. He might be like that Will Levis situation. Yeah, but who's giving team. you blowback? Teams that are that are in the late late twenties or teams that have potential quarterback needs. Who said just they would expect there would be a trade up into the first round if he falls out of the top twenty? Someone he's not going to fall to day two. Yeah, um, and that's understandable. There's two teams though that I continue to hear for Penix, and I didn't again. I didn't have him in my first round. One of them was the Vegas Raiders. Apparently, there's a lot of fans in the building. I speak to sources there that I haven't gotten that indication, but from other people, I've heard that. And then the other one is the Seattle Seahawks as a successor to Geno Smith. Obviously, the Washington connection, but also the offensive coordinator there knows Penix. So those are the two teams I was told for Penix, and I don't have him going anywhere in the first round. So it just shows how wildly different the thought process could be 10 days out.